हॅलो मायसेल्फ मयुरेश राऊत असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर सिंहगड इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ फार्मास्युटिकल सायन्सेस लोणावला टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस थिन लेअर क्रोमॅटोग्राफी we are going to cover the basic principles of tlc and what are the different steps which are involved in tlc basically thin layer chromatography is a planar chromatographic technique it is an adsorption type of chromatography in tlc we use two different phases the one which we call as a stationary phase wherein a thin layer of adsorbent material is used the other is a mobile phase wherein we are using a developing solvent the components of solutes they have differential affinities for stationary phase so the basic principle of separation is either differential adsorption or partition of sample between two phases tlc is used to determine the various components in a mixture it is also used to identify two substances it is also used to determine the effectiveness of purification tlc is also used to determine the appropriate conditions for column chromatographic separation it is used to monitor the progress of reaction and also to monitor column chromatographic effectiveness there are two most important classes of tlc first is normal phase tlc and second is reverse phase tlc in normal phase tlc the stationary phase is polar example silica gel the mobile phase is an organic solvent or mixture of organic solvents which is less polar than the stationary phase whereas in reverse phase the stationary phase is a silica bonded with an organic substrate such as long chain aliphatic acids like c18 and the mobile phase is a mixture of water and organic solvent which is more polar than the stationary phase the different steps which are involved in tlc are first is sample separation second is choice of adsorbent that is stationary phase third is sample application fourth development of a chromatographic plate and finally evaluation or visualization of the separated components using qualitative or quantitative determination first step that is sample preparation the sample solution must be a clear solution sample pre treatment may be necessary in some cases and this can be done using sampling mechanical crushing of the sample extraction filtration and sometimes enrichment of the interesting components or clean up that is nothing but removal of undesired impurities second step is sample application for sample application we are using glass capillaries or graduated pipettes or in some cases we can also use automated applicators or disposable applicators the volume of the sample is around 10 to 20 microliter and it depends on the individual sample and the experiment we can apply the sample either in the form of spots or in the form of bands sample is applied several times with intermediate drain we have to take some precautions while doing sample application that is we have to use each capillary once to avoid contamination of the sample we have to place the capillary on the plate vertically we have to also take care that we do not damage the thin layer while doing the application of the sample we have to apply the sample and the reference solution to the same plate and provide same conditions so these are some of the precautions which we need to take while doing sample application next step is development of a plate the chromatogram is developed by ascending process that is by making the solvent rise on the plate 
chamber saturation is done as per the requirement of the sample. In some cases, pre-equilibration of the plate may be required and plate activation may also be required. Tank saturation for obtaining reproducible migration distances, saturation of the chamber atmosphere with mobile phase vapors is necessary. For this purpose, the developing chamber is lined with well absorbing chromatographic paper. So these are the twin trough chambers of KMAC, which are used as tanks for TLC separation. We can see here, this is our TLC chamber. At the bottom, the green colored solution that is indicating our mobile phase. This is our TLC plate. So we are performing ascending separation. So this solvent will rise on our TLC plate. Once 75% of the plate has been traveled by the mobile phase, then we are going to remove our plate from the tank. Visualization of the separated substances. If components have color, then simple visualize, visual detection is sufficient. But if the components or the compound which we have separated is colorless, then we have to observe the plate under UV chamber at 254 nanometer or 366 nanometer. We can also use some chemical reactions to observe these spots. This is how the plate will look under the UV cabinet. The colorless compounds, they will glow under the UV light and we can visualize our separated components. Visualization of the post chromatographic. For this purpose, we are using iodine chamber. We are saturating the iodine chamber with the fumes of iodine and then keeping our TLC plate inside this chamber. The iodine fumes, they will get localized on the TLC plate where our spots have traveled and we can detect the components. We can also use different detecting reagents. That is, we can use 5 to 10 percent H2SO4 in methanol or we can use 10 to 20 percent ammonium sulfate depending upon our experimental needs. So this is how we are going to keep our TLC plate in the fume hood and with the help of a spray gun we are going to spray the spraying reagent on the TLC plate. So this is called as spray gun. We are uh, uh, filling this uh, spraying reagent inside this spray gun and with the help of this bulb we are spraying the spray on the TLC plate. So these are some of the spray reagents which are used for TLC. For example, if our sample is alkaloid, then we are using Dragondorf reagent. If our sample is reducing sugar, then we can use aniline phthalate as a spray reagent. If our sample is amino acid, then we can use ninhydrin spray reagent. We can also go for qualitative and quantitative determination. For qualitative evaluation parameter, RF value is used. And for quantitative evaluation, we can use either scanner or determination after elution. RF value is nothing but retention factor. It is the distance traveled by the solute upon distance traveled by the solvent. It is given by the formula distance traveled by the solute upon distance traveled by the solvent front. It is always less than 1. Advantages of TLC. It is an inexpensive process. It is very easy to learn and convenient. It is more sensitive, faster and versatile. High sample throughput in short period of time. Small amount of sample is required for TLC. It can be used as a trial or pilot process for HPLC or GC analysis and offline study is also possible. So these are some of the advantages of TLC. Thank you for patient listening and happy learning. If you have liked my video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.